In Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, we got to see the vintage Hogwarts uniform. But the one you can buy, there's a few problems. Having a Hogwarts uniform certainly is fun when you want to channel your inner witch or wizard and as the majority of the outfit is available to purchase from most Wizarding World locations, we've been living our best magical lives and not only do you get to wear them to locations and get some great photos but by wearing it you also identify yourself to other Harry Potter fans and you can connect that way. So can you imagine how excited I was when we got to see Fantastic Beasts and see a new uniform and you can pretty much get most of it but after getting it and then comparing it to the films I noticed there were quite a few differences that I thought you might be interested to see too. So the modern Hogwarts robes you'll be aware that the house colour because I'm in Hufflepuff is present in the hood it's in the back, down the side, and then it does continue down the front and also in the sleeves. Now this is the modern Hogwarts uniform, but they seem to have replicated this in the vintage Hogwarts uniform that you can get, but this is actually wrong. And you'll see from the screen grabbers from the film that the house colour is only in the hood. The rest of the robes are lined with blue lining in the rest of the robe. Looking close at the hood, you will notice there is also soft black piping that surrounds it. Also, when Lita runs away, you'll notice at the point of the hood, there is a tassel that can be seen. And after doing some more research, a while back, some very lucky influencers got to visit the set of The Crimes of Grindelwald and one incredibly lucky influencer, Amazing Arabella, actually got to wear the vintage Hogwarts uniform and it's upon finding these high res images that I noticed even more details that we can look at close up now. I noticed that the crests are pretty good in comparison to the film. The blue fabric and the black stripes on the sleeves, they seem pretty good too. And the vintage tie looks like the modern ties, so that's fortunately easier for us all to get hold of. We can also get a better look at the vintage Hogwarts jumpers. I also noticed that there's a little vintage prefect badge that you can't buy from any official places yet. But I absolutely want a version of these. I'm hoping there can be an official one coming out in the future or if any amazing pin creators out there can make one for all the houses. I know I certainly want one to add to the outfit. Lastly, I also noticed that the metal buttons are different. Whereas these ones are plain, on the actual uniform, they have this pattern on. Now I don't really have skills in fabric creation stuff. If you've seen any of my other videos on the magical outfits that I wear, it's actually my mum that makes all the amazing magical outfits that I get to wear. So she has the skills in that. And I did notice that the Lo Lock Haven made the jumpers for the films and a while back they actually teased that, that they that they created that. There was a half of one and they showed all the other colours of all the, the houses as well. So it's like, oh my goodness, they, they might eventually bring one out. And I've been waiting, waiting, waiting for ages and even contacted them asking when is it going to be available and sadly I believe it's down to licensing that means that they're not able to sell it yet so if anyone with those magical powers that can grant licensing that's watching this video here's this please make this happen because those of us that want to wear our vintage Hogwarts uniforms and live our Hogwarts magical life need this jumper to add to the collection so please 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 can you make that happen otherwise i'm gonna have to ask everyone to email lockhaven asking that we want this jumper because we want it and maybe there's enough demand they'll make it <laughs> happen somehow <laughs> i would probably say that the ravenclaw robe is probably the most screen accurate because it has the correct color in the hood down the side and the sleeves the only thing that we need to be changed is the black piping, the tassel at the back, and then the buttons. But because I'm in Hufflepuff, that made it a little bit more tricky. But I showed my mum the differences, and she was able to make some magic and adapt the robes. And I can now show you what they look like. So I have some screen accurate Hufflepuff vintage robes. So as we can see, that the colour is in the hood. 
and it just ends at the back there. We're able to add the black piping on there too and then even the tassel that we see Lita has at the point so that's happy with that at the back. And then the color just ends by the hood and then it and that's where the piping ends too. And so the rest of the, the blue is lining and also in the sleeves as well. So that's all fine. And then a while back, I was walking around some fabric stores. This was like many years ago. And I actually managed to find these buttons that were the same buttons as we saw in the picture. So I was like, of course I bought them to add to that. So that's what we were able to change. And I now have this wonderful vintage Hogwarts robe and uniform, minus the jumper, because I'm still waiting for Lockhaven. So Lockhaven, please! We want the jumper! I hope you found this video helpful if you were looking to get a Hogwarts uniform from Fantastic Beasts. Let me know in the comment section below what is your Hogwarts house. I always love hearing what houses everyone is in. If you have enjoyed this video, then please do me a favor and click that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that when there's a new video, you'll be notified. Be sure to give this video a like, and with that, remember, the Wizarding World is just one spell away.